Oh, this hell. Whoa, physics, baby. Okay. Hey, what's going on, friends and family? My name is Skylint, and today we're checking out a mobile action RPG called Honkai Impact 3, and it's probably the most gorgeous mobile game that I've ever played that also still pretty consistently played fluidly. I think it might be not for everyone, but for the niche that really is into animu action, well, I don't think there's any more beautiful action content that you're gonna find on mobile devices. So, keep the hype alive, let's jump in to Honkai Impact 3. Alright guys, we're jumping into the game and immediately you can tell it's freaking gorgeous. Now of course you have to enjoy anime styling, I think, a little bit. Uh, but overall, I think for a mobile game, we have to admit that this looks okay. <laughs> it looks pretty good. It might be the best looking mobile game of all time. Okay, of right now. Of maybe, it depends. Uh, but as we get in the game, you're gonna see the action. You're gonna, you're gonna know. It, it looks pretty good. It, if you can test it with uh, some MMOs or you know, some games that we've been playing recently, you know, it looks great. Uh, Soul Worker-esque kind of graphics, aesthetic, and of course, like the quality of production on a mobile platform. That's looking pretty good. Let's get into that gameplay, guys. I think we're still kind of in a tutorial-esque stage, but, um, you know, we're, we're just going to run through it. I'm going to try to explain the game as much as I can, but I don't know much about it. All I know is got lots of gotcha, lots of uh, gambling. It's a dungeon diver. It's really more of kind of a boss rushy type of title. Uh, it's nothing like Dragon Project in terms of like you just boss rush. There's also some ads here and there. It's kind of spammy, uh, but I think it needs to be for the mechanics that the game has. And overall, I'm enjoying it, though. I can say that. Uh, but this isn't a review, just a first look. We're just trying to have some fun. But as you can see here, the game is running at a pretty solid frame rate. I like it a lot. I think it looks pretty freaking gorgeous. Hopefully the game comes out great. I'm recording with uh, Elgato capture card through my Nvidia Shield, um, but it should look pretty good. It's got a pretty solid frame rate. Um, so the gameplay mechanics are basically spam attack and then spam dodge whenever uh, an attack is actually coming your way. And if you do this correctly, if you time it right, um, then you get some big damage. See, there we go. We dodge an attack just right, and we're able to go into this um, sort of like parry state, uh, which just makes us epic, basically. So instead of just spamming attack like a lot of games have you do, it's really rewarding to be reactionary. That's that's how that probably the most efficient way to play the game is to do that, is to wait for an attack and then dodge until so you can go into that epic state there. Uh, so there we just did that, and then we just do the big combos. So basically you have uh, two, two things that you can really do. You can um, attack, you can ultimate, and then you have another attack that's like, you just, okay, so I attack once, twice, and then hold the third attack. And then so I do like a different uh, sort of sort of combo. I think it's a more AOE focused, but, or you can just spam. Uh, kind of dodge back there. No, I waited two, I, I didn't wait. That was my problem actually. So I probably should have uh, dodged that. I think I see an attack coming. There we go, yeah, okay. So the camera isn't, and it's, it's awkward, but for a mobile game, it's actually decent. It's uh, pretty good. I'm gonna ulti here, actually. We're gonna do a dodge and, so the ulti lets me do big crazy robot cat paws for this character. Now, I should actually be switching characters here because there are different uh, elements. You want pros and cons, uh, kind of rock, paper, scissors. So this character is actually good against, I think, these type of beasts. So I'm going to switch over to this girl. Yes, it is a girl collecting game. Girl gotcha collecting game. You even use girls to upgrade your weapons. So that's the type of title it is. But a gorgeous title at that, I think so. Fantastic physics. <laughs> It's, it's actually a pretty action-packed action RPG. Now, there are some online features. To the full extent, I don't know. I'm still in this tutorial stage. You do have a friend system, which is something you should be comfortable with now if you've played mobile RPGs. Uh, so there is that. And But I think there is another... I don't think there's an arena, but there might be a pseudo-raid kind of thing, maybe. I don't know. I, well, we'll see what the game has to offer, but basically expect what you're seeing on the screen here. That's what a first look is all about. It's just pure and simple. What's the game look like? What's it play like? You know, I, I'm and I'm trying to be as honest as I can as I play it as well. So here we go. We're just going to start this uh, next one here, but it's very anime. It's very Japanese. And in a lot of ways, it seems to be very cliche, but it it's out of all the cliche games like this. It's got to be the one that looks the freaking best, like uncontestedly, right? My dudes, <laughs> like it's just got to be. Uh, you learn some bonus time for each enemy defeated. Oh, okay. So let's go do that. I should, oh, I should have probably have dodged that. Uh, but I'm just going to do this. I think when the arrow flashes, if I dodge, then I'm good to go. No, okay. This guy's melee, so dodge that. Okay. Oop. Try to dodge the attacks just right. And I keep messing up, so got to pull from my Dark Souls experience. And some people might say, well, you're not really directionally dodging. You get iframes. But the truth is, is that like almost every game that has dodges gives you iframes, right? So if you just make a mobile game, simplify it, uh, you know, bring it back down to earth here. 
then I think I think it can still work. Like mechanically, it can still be a fun game. You just have to be, you know, reactionary. Uh, but then again, of course, we only have like one or two attacks. There's only a few types of enemies, it seems, that I'm going against. Uh, we have a lot of repetition already immediately in the game. But with the fact that you are supposed to be switching uh, characters often, it seems, there should be three different types of characters, I believe. Oh, let's use this girl's ultimate, which is like this big freaking slash. Big and flashy is, is kind of the name of the game here. Uh, so yeah, you want to use... So right there above the enemy's health bar, it says up. That means I'm strong against these enemies. So I should be trying to dash. Through. There we go. There we go. We finally got a dash. Okay, there we go. Big damages. Okay, do a big ultimate. It's a Katen show, you know what I'm saying? Please. Okay. Okay, we're taking some damage. Come on. Time up. There we go. Fantastic stuff there. You can even... A little, little screenshot button. I didn't even see that. little screenshot button. Probably make a sexy thumbnail. Easy peasy. Liking it, guys. Hope you guys are liking it, too. Hope you guys are keeping the hype alive. Absolutely. If you are, give it a thumbs up. If not, I don't know. Give it a thumbs down. If you don't want me to play any kind of games like this, fine. Whatever. But I know, frankly, that it, it'd probably get views. My audience kind of wants stuff like this, so I'm trying it out, okay? There's a couple other RPGs that I did appreciate, and I do like the mobile uh, platform as a whole. Okay, maybe not as a whole, but I have hope for it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so there's a couple games I really do like. I like Snipers vs. Thieves. All right, so we're still running through this uh, this instance. You can see, here we go, but there's a little friend thing. Uh, this must be somebody demoing out the game. They're named Play or something. I'll, no. I'll throw them into the team there. They can join us. They can have fun with it. I kind of wish that uh, these games allowed you to pick a character from the very beginning, but you start out with the white-haired chick, and then you get access to the black-haired chick, and then from there you get the whole gotcha system where you unlock other chicks, other princesses and things. But man, look how good this game looks. And look at the characters here. Now, I think there were a little bit some misspellings, but overall, the, the story seems, you, you know, your usual affair. <laughs> your usual affair. I kind of appreciate it, though. So, if you guys have seen any good anime lately, let me know. I loved Land of the Lustrious. Land of the Lustrious was super good, especially as a CG animation. I actually really liked it. I even read the uh, manga, so really appreciate that one. And if you're wondering about what manga I'm currently reading, I, I just did a review recently on The Promised Neverland, so something I definitely recommend for everybody. Okay, we're actually weak against this person, but I'm just beating the crap out of them. Um, I think I'm neutral to the normal zombies here. We're just going to do a slash. There we go. Dash up to uh, reach these guys. There we go. Dash this. There we go. Dodge that attack. And we go into this, like, bullet time mode here where we just beat the crap out of them. Big epic slash again. There it is. Love it. Loving it. And she's strong against this character, so we're going to be um, doing this. Oh, I thought that was an attack. He was just walking. That's an attack, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Mm. Oh, baby. Big slash. Big slashes. With our, with their lightsaber, dude. dude. This game looks This game looks great, right? Like, I'm not, I'm not crazy for thinking this, am I? Oh, another dash. It feels good, dude. Like, the game feels good. For a mobile game that doesn't have, like, any tactile feedback or anything like that. It just it feels so cool, man. It does. It's a simple dash, simple smash kind of game. But a lot of people look down on anime games for having very simplistic uh, mechanics. Really, they just put their complexity in other directions. It's, it's not always about having a high, medium, low punch. You know, it's, it's not always about that. I just wasted that. I don't know which, uh, what, what I was doing there. Okay, whoa, this beast looks crazy. Wait, is that a freaking what? What is this person doing? What is she? What is going on here? This is some wild stuff. As you can see, that guy jumped in with us. And they put their depth in uh, other directions, but for a mobile game, like, come on, dude. For a non-autoplay mobile game, this is actually pretty complex. Y you know, I would debate, for comparing this to a couple of uh, the action RPGs we've been playing, like Soul Worker and stuff like that, it's basically comparable, like, directly. It's fine. This is great. This is cool. It's obviously not going to run at 60 FPS. You're not going to obviously have long dungeons, but neither did Soul Worker and neither do a lot of games, period. This is actually pretty okay. I think so. Again, not a review, just a first look, but I'm just saying, directly comparing mechanics and layers of depth, a lot of people just want to trash mobile games. And this game could be trash in the end, but so far, it just doesn't look like trash. It just doesn't. No, I'm not going to add somebody who doesn't even have a name. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here, dude. Okay, so, we're going to just keep running through this until we hit, like, you know, 15 minutes of fame. That's what I like to do for first looks. We're going to claim uh, the loot box or whatever. We got some stuff and things. Here's the characters I've unlocked. Not characters. They're stigmatas. And I guess they're used... I, I don't exactly... I don't know, dude. There's a lot of weird, random things that I have no idea what it means at all. I, I got some stuff and things as well. Like, what, what, are, what are these things? What are these materials? Like, what, what's going on here? Stamina potions. Uh, experience gains. I guess I'll experience gain. Okay. Sounds good to me, dude. So, main menu. Here we go. Uh, do we have, yeah, there is a, there seems to be a stamina system, you know, your usual MMO, I mean, sorry, not MMO, Pfft. 
Thank God that's not the usual in MMOs yet, though Black Desert would uh, disagree. Um, mobile, mobile game affair. Mobile game affair here. So Act 2 uh, is there. We can actually jump Act 3. We could do 112 here. Can we just do this? Let's do this. Let's jump in. First clear drops, get some epic stuff. You can repeat it if you want to. Look at this art. The art is great. It's gorgeous. Cliche, but it's gorgeous. I think so. So let's go ahead. Missions! Oh, we got uh, the missions. Get the free free loot and stuff and things. Oh, Facebook, get extra. Okay, yeah, whatever. All right, let's attack. Let's attack. Please. 111 of a burden protection. So it seems like we're going to be doing a lot of the same. So I don't think this first look needs to extend itself like I do for strategy games. Or it's like one match is 30 minutes. I think basically it's like you're going to run through the same dungeon, fight the same enemies over and over and over and over again. And it's going to take quite a long time to get to the real challenging content. Uh, and then you're really just going to kind of bull through it through uh, some gotcha systems, possibly, and the RPG mechanics. But there's some mechanics to be had here. Okay, so we're going to we're gonna fight these uh, the zombie girls. So this character is good against these zombie girls. So fantastic here. We'll, we'll fight the zombie girls like this. Oh, we should have dodged that. That, that should have been a dodge. Should have been a dodge there. If we see see that. Okay, so now we're going to switch characters here. See, a little, little bit of, you know, some thought putting into it. You know, I, I haven't really played many action RPG that's about switching characters on the fly. I played, uh, what do we got? Uh, Lego minifigures did that. And it was actually a pretty challenging game. I enjoyed that title. There's very few that do that. Uh, a lot of them actually failed. What was that? Uh, Elite Lords, dude. There was there's a couple action RPG. I'm trying to think of them, but it's it's a really rare thing. And, and the games I could mention are pretty freaking obscure. Actually, we're gonna switch characters so we can finish off these ads. You know, just just trying to be efficient, even though I probably don't need to be in these like tutorial esque stages. But man, dude, does does this just look freaking cool? I think we killed the rest of them. No, I know there's one over here. There it is. There it is. Slippity slap. Okay, switching characters here. Getting back into the action. Oh yeah, feeling it. Feels good. Oh wait, we got another one. Who is coming here? Who was this? Oh, another. Okay, another one. All right. Oh, dodge that. Dodge it. No. Okay, guess not. Maybe a little bit. Big epic attacks. Cool, cool, cool. Luckily, I hit them both. I should have probably focused on that. Maybe a little bit there. Um, dodge this. Okay. I didn't get it in time for the parry. I think, but you can't actually control your dashes and the directions. To an extent, this girl's kind of more difficult, I think, maybe. Hopefully they do have some really weird attacks. Maybe, like, a ranged character would be pretty fun. Of course, being a, you know, a character-based game where you're supposed to collect lots of different characters, I'm assuming a lot of them are going to be very different, but we don't know that. There's no way to check that for first looks. Uh, so, we've only got two characters so far. Come on. Come, come, get, get your freaking butterfly. Okay. And there it is. It's all she wrote. All right. So, let's go. We'll go one more mission. Let's go one more mission and just see what happens. It's likely it's going to be the same enemies and things, but then, hey, hey it'll just confirm you, you know what you're getting into. Uh, the customization seems kind of deep, seemingly. Seemingly seems. I don't know if that's true. Oh, but uh, before we go more into that, I just want to say, like, the game's running good, right? Like, you can see it's running good. I think it only crashed once, and I can't tell if that was because of my fault, because I clicked on something, but yeah, like, it's running good. Anyways, so if you actually go back, there is um, customization here. We can sh show that in the menu. Easy does it. So, oh, somebody accepted my friend request. Super neat. So level 10 unlocks Armada. All right, I don't know what Armada is, but uh, yeah, so you do have friends and stuff and things. So here's the equipment. We can actually go to that. Uh, here's our stigmatas, and then you have different weapons. So one character uses pistols, one uses a sword. Uh, the stigmatas are here. This one's level 10. This one's like super cool and stuff. Wow, man, look at that art. Okay. Uh, they have different skills, like there's the stigmata skills, increases physical damage, affix skills, I guess it's a passive or something, I don't freaking know, set skills, I don't know, I, I don't know, there's there's just stuff and things, dude, you can refine them, enhance them, and yeah, I, and the fragments, I don't know, I guess you get fragments of Valkyrie, so I have Shariat fragment, so I guess the, the more I collect of these, uh, I can use it to acquire a Valk, and that is the characters you play, so I guess I could, I could craft? Can I craft a Valk? Who, who is this? And a fragment. Oh, I need 10. Okay, so that's how that works. So you, there's going to be crafting and stuff like that. So the, the Valkyrie, the Valkyrie Jaw, I don't know, I'll, just, I'll just call them Valks. That's the characters he plays. as. So here's this one. Uh, here's Raiden. Uh, Bronya. This, this one, what? What is this? Psychic type ranged character who strikes with uh, charge attacks and controls enemies with their black hole ability. That one, see, that's a weird character. Uh, Kiana is, wait, another Kiana? Another Kiana? It's the same features mecha type ranged character. Yeah. Kiana. Oh wait, are they gonna have like different kind of Kianas? 
Oh, that's kind of, I mean, that's kind of in a way lazy, but I guess it allows them to have lots of different mechanical characters, but they are technically the same. Oh, this, oh, whoa, physics, baby. Okay, so this one is a creature type melee character. This one is a mecha type. Oh yeah, so the creature type is um good against good against creatures and good against mecha. Okay, so that, that's really how it is. So we have just a couple of characters that we can choose from. Hopefully they continuously add in more, but not too many, not too dramatic here. So anyways, that's it for the first impression, guys, for the first look. I was going to do another mission, but I'm pretty sure it's the same stuff. Thanks for watching 15 Minutes of Fame. That's it. My name is Skylint. That was Honkai Impact 3rd. Maybe check it out. It's uh, probably the best looking mobile game, at least in terms of animation, uh, out there. Thanks for watching. Keep the hype alive. See you again next time.